So what I will do? JavaScript program to hide and show, hide and show the password. Hide and show the password. Sir, I didn't understand, sir. What hide and show? What does it mean? What we are going to do here? Assume that, assume that I will take one password. So let me give the name here. This is known as what here? Password. So here I will take one I symbol here. What symbol I am taking? I symbol. So tell me, whenever I press this one, I symbol, so automatically, whatever the password I type, I want to see. Again, if I click, what should come? Dot, 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 dot should come. Understood my point here now? We need to hide and show the password. So how can we do? We can do by using JavaScript. But remember, whatever the icon you can see here, this is one icon, na? This is one icon. I told you in the CSS, if you want to take this icon, we need to go for font, awesome icons we need to use. And to use that icons in your web page, we need to add a CDN link. What we need to add? CDN, CDN link. That CDN link is nothing but this one. Understood my point here. This CDN link we need to add. So if you add this, then it will work. Otherwise, you cannot use. So what I'm going to give you, I will open the what here sublime. Open the sublime. Close. So let me remove the script. Anything is there on the top? No. So what I will do, I will take the script. Before we go to the script, first I want to add that icon, CDN link. So this we need to add whenever if you need icons. Then script is not required now, remove the script. First I want to take what here? Password. What I'm taking? Input type is equal to what? Password. ID is equal to what here? T1. Password. Okay, sir, we got an idea. So see this? Right click open in a browser. So you can see there is a password kin. But I need icon now. So what I will do, I will take what here? Span class. Font awesome. Font awesome I. Closing of what here? Span. Refresh. The symbol came. I symbol came. But it is coming uh, outside, right? So what we should do? We should do some logic. So I need to tell this icon, icon, you come inside the box. So for that reason, what I will do? I will write the style. Style I will write. And here I will say what your my ID. Hash. I can take class also, but I'm taking hash my ID. So let me go to this one. ID. What's the ID name? My ID. I took that ID and I said position relative left 25 pixel. Let me check. Position relative. They, where it is there from there only. Re click. Or it is going which side? Right side. But I don't need right side, it has to come left side. So what I will do? Right. So whenever I do this, it comes left side. So it's coming in this way. So till now we did CSS only, but still there is a problem. When I'm typing, it is overriding this or not? This is overriding. Actually, it has to stop here only, but it see this overriding. So I need some space here to get the space. See, up to here is okay. Up to here is okay. But when I am typing here, it is going uh, 
on top also. I don't need this one. Understand my point, Indian? So what I'm going to give you for the text field, I will create one class. You can take anything. What is the class name? My class. So I will say dot my class. And here I will say padding with side right. I need 15 pixel. 15 pixel right I am taking. Now you can see here. Refresh. But I need more. Instead of 15, I want to take how much? 20. So now you can see here. Understood my point? Yana? It's overriding. Huh? No. It will not override. Understood my point? Yana? So this is how we are creating. But this is normal HTML and CSS only. But suppose if I am typing Raja and if I click on this, so what I need? It has to convert into what here? Text. It has to convert into the text. So tell me what is the name of this ID? What is the name of this ID? T1. Otherwise, you can declare both as classes. This is also you can declare what here? Dot. Anything. But I am not declaring. I am just declaring what here? My ID only. But here, what is my ID? See, what is my ID here? T1. So how I am reading? See this script. So here I will say. So tell me, where will you click? Will you click on icon only? Na? So I am telling that only. If on click where it has to go f1 function f1 so what i will do i will read that one i will read this id id means t1 so i am telling variable t is equal to document dot get element by id what's the id name t1 if t dot what your text, sorry, type is equal to text. Otherwise, you can take what your anything x. x dot type is equal to text. Sorry, what is the type we have given, guys? What is the type we have given? Sorry. So let me write. If x type is equal to password, so I want to convert into what? X type is equal to what? Text. If not, it should be converted into what here? Password only. So see this refresh. Refresh. Here I am giving Raja. Click. Click. Understood my point here now. So what is happening? Whenever I click after entering the details, Raja, click. What I'm keeping? So it is becoming what here? Yes. You give anything. For example, I'm giving admin. Click. It's coming with what here? Admin. So, otherwise I can say, if x type is equal to password, what I'm giving equals to password. Now you do refresh. Raja. Click. Click, 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 click. Understood my point here now? So automatically it is becoming what? Text to password. Password to text. Like that. So this is how we can do hide and show the password in the text field. Understood my point? JavaScript program to hide and show the password in a text field. Understood everyone? Online people, offline people got an idea how to do this? Yes, sir. Shall we go yes, to sir. form validation? Okay.